can't really hurt. Hi guys, it's Serena from Chris Roth Things and today I have a haul for you. Um, a few clothing items, some homeware stuff and some hair stuff and just a range of items so let's go. So I guess I'll start with the clothing items. First of all I picked up another pair of the black um, jeggings from Sainsbury's. I was going to say Superdrug then and then in my head I was like Superdrug don't sell clothes. Um, from Sainsbury's. Um, they were £12.50 but it, I got them while it was that 25% off everything in Sainsbury's clothing so it was 25% off that. Actually my mum bought these so thanks mum. Um, and I have another pair of these but I got two just because I've been really trying this year to not wear leggings and so far I've probably worn leggings uh, probably about six times this year which is a pretty good deal considering last year I wore them every day. So when I got my first pair of these and I absolutely loved them because it looks like I'm wearing jeans but I can still sit with my legs crossed and um, have a stretchy waistband so I can eat loads of cake and, and not have to undo a button. <laughs> um, I got another pair because um, once I found something that I like, I like to stock up on it because it generally disappears or gets discontinued or something like that. So I got another black pair. And then I've got another month's um, haul from She Inside. If you read my blog, I did a blog post about these items yesterday. Um, and I was going to take photos of me in them and style them, but I was having a really bad kind of like face and hair day and I just didn't want to be on camera. But today I'm feeling much better, so um, I thought I'd film this haul and include the items so that you can kind of see them in more detail than the pictures that I have on my blog. So first of all, I got this necklace and it just looks like this it's gold and it has crosses on it and you may have seen this um on a few people because you can buy this exact necklace from quite a few places at the moment i think they just kind of get them from the same like um wholesale place and i really really like these and um if you did read my blog post i did actually put this is gold now i am not known for but i have talked about a lot and talks about the, fa the fact that I talk about this a lot that I don't like gold jewellery blah 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 long story short I like this piece of jewellery and I will wear it so that's that um, I'll leave a link to all these items below so you can um, shop them if you want to so I got this and it looks really good underneath collars and stuff so got that let's go on the shiny route this jumper is incredible can you see that already just like it's so sparkly the whole front of this is sequins like there isn't one space on this that isn't sequins on the front must have taken them bloody ages to sew all these on um, and then the knit of the jumper itself is actually silver metallic can you see that so the whole jumper is basically just pure silver um, now fabric like this, do you remember when, remember when we were little kids? You might not remember when I was a little kid, but um, when I was a little kid, they had socks that were made of this um, like metallic um, fabric and they were so itchy. They were just like hell. Um, and this, I thought, oh God, it's going to be really itchy, but it's actually on the inside, it's not the same kind of... I don't know how they do that, um, but the inside isn't got as much silver on, so it's kind of less itchy. Plus, I wear a vet, like um, a strappy vest underneath it, so it didn't itch me. Uh, and the sleeves weren't bad either. Um, the sleeves are the right length for me, and it's just really—I mean, how can you not want to wear sparkles? So um, I picked this. I also got this top, which is a really weird material because it's not like normal t-shirt material. But there's no label in it, so I can't tell you what exactly it is, but it's super soft. I think it's probably just like a cotton blend something, but it's really, really soft, like thick material. Has roll-up sleeves, um, which is good for me because I really like roll-up sleeves, like the top I'm wearing now has roll-up sleeves and um, they're like sewn, so I don't have to keep like refolding them. And it has a really comfy neckline, like it's not too high up and it's not too low down. And it has this print on it, 
which is really cool. It's so lips with arrows and dots and studs and just teeth. And um, I wore this, um, well I've worn this a lot now, but um, I showed it on my Instagram and a few people liked it, so um, it's from She Inside. And the other thing about my top is, if you can see, there's studs all the way around here, but I'm missing a stud here, here and here which is really weird because it's not even a hole like there was ever a stud there so I don't know whether they just forgot to stud it but um, nobody should be staring at my top that intently anyway so um, it doesn't really matter and these are really weird studs, I've not seen any, any like this before where the inside is like a little dot like that and they are so cold when you put this top on like when they touch you you're like oh my god it's freezing um, so yeah and it's really nice length as well. Like it's um you can tuck it into like my skate skirt, it looks really good, and it also looks good to cover your bum when wearing leggings and um yeah, I really like this top. Um they have this design I think on a few different items. Um I'm not sure if this is like a copy of some other top because I know they have the um you know the one with like the is it an eagle and it says boy on it. I have no idea what that's all about. I personally don't like that design, I don't understand the whole thing, um, but I, th I think it's kind of similar to that in the, I don't know, um, I could be talking absolute nonsense right now but I really like this top so I got that. Then this shirt which um, I tried on this morning and it does fit and everything, it's actually the perfect size because when I get um, clothing from kind of like Asian whole, Asian wholesale, from Asian websites, uh, it's very kind of hit and miss as to whether like a shirt or a dress type item will fit me um, because either the sleeves are too short or it's too tight or something like that. But this is perfect, the sleeves are completely the right length and it's pretty much just like something I'd buy from Primark. So the collar has a little golden button and then it's just black and white stripes with flowers on and then polka dot sleeves and it's just, I really really like this. I'm probably going to wear this in the summer with um, either tucked into my black skater skirt or tucked into some shorts or something if I'm feeling brave this year and actually go out wearing shorts so I really really like this, this is probably my favourite thing that I got from them um, and I'll just try and show you the flowers and it is kind of sheer so you would have to wear something underneath it unless you um, don't mind just having a bra underneath stuff but that's not really my style um, I also like that it has that thing down the front that covers the buttons. I just think it makes it look really swish and um, yeah, I really like this shirt. Okay, the last thing from Sheenside. This is probably, some, well this is something that I have wanted for absolutely ages and um, I remember even my birthday last year, I was like, Mum, look at these leggings. And probably, I think the Christmas before that, so not last Christmas, Christmas before. And obviously, Galaxy leggings. Black milk is the way to go when it comes to Galaxy leggings. But um, unless you live in Australia, it's quite hard to get them a decent price because the shipping is astronomical. And I mean, the price of them to start with, 70, is it 70 Australian dollars? I think that for a pair of leggings, because these are made from the same material that they are, these were like roughly £12.30. Um, so I don't know whether it literally does cost them like $30 to make them, but um, if I can get these for £12 and they look the same, they feel the same, then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cheap every time. <laughs> um, so they look like this and they're such a soft silky material they are really really smooth um, and I think they are well, it says 86% polyester and 14% spandex spandex um, look how tiny that waist is it's like as big as my head like it's tiny I got them out and I thought this is a child's pair of leggings like look at that they don't even reach all the way around me thought I'm never gonna get these on. They are super stretchy and I think this was one of those one size only items um, so it was kind of like a we'll give it a go and fingers crossed and I can get them on and they look good and they fit and they're so stretchy you can like sit down and 
wash your legs and whatever. But if, if I can show you the seam here, look at that, okay? That's it without it even being stretched. So imagine, <laughs> imagine me in this seemingly tiny pair of leggings. The seam looks like it's gonna burst, it's not. But I just have this fear of going outside and then just imagining all the seams burst and then they just like float away and I'm just stood naked in the street and just, yeah. So I don't think that's probably not going to happen, but if it does, that would be really embarrassing. So I am, I don't know, I, I really want to wear these because they're amazing. I just have that fear of like bending over and then just hearing that ripping noise and thinking oh shit so um we'll see about these about when i wear them and stuff but i'm really looking forward to wearing these so now kind of like a crazy purchase um my mum works at a school and they have um like people that come in to do um classes and stuff with the children after school and they also have um an adult one um like for the parents and the teachers just a bit of fun and stuff and they're starting doing a Zumba one now I never ever 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 for the life of me ever considered doing Zumba because I have the coordination of a gnat and um, I'm probably gonna fall on my face but my mum really wants me to go with her so I'm going to go and um, I didn't have any like gy like clothing like what you'd wear to a gym like gym clothing or anything um, because when I did exercise at home, I just wore like a pair of leggings and a baggy top, but I kind of wanted something better. Um, I still don't have any trainers or any shoes yet, but um, it doesn't start till next week. So, fingers crossed about that. So I picked these um, kind of like yoga style pants up in um, Sainsbury's. And they have a really cool pattern on the top. Um, looks like that. And it has a little mp3 pocket, but the pocket is like this big. And my mp3 is my mp3. My iPod is the um, classic, so that's never going to fit in there. But I can put like, I don't know, mints or sweets in there <laughs> to snack on. And um, they're just like long, basically just long yoga pants. Um, and I've got these in a 12, but they are slightly too big for me, um, which is weird. Um, and they were, well the price has been ripped off but I seem to remember they were £14 but again they had 25% off so got those and then also with that I got, I don't know if this is weird to show but I got a sports bra so sports bra. Now on to the rest of the stuff that I got. Um, I have three duvet covers but only two like bed sheets because I bought them all separately so um, I was in B&M with my dad last week and I saw this um, sheet with two pillowcases. Now on my side of the bed which is this side I only have one pillow but on that side I have um, two pillows because they're thinner than mine um, so I like to have the second pillow on that side to match the sheet. So I got it in this pattern, it's white with blue hearts and I got a sheet and two pillowcases so this one's being unused because I don't have another um, cushion for that. But it's on my bed at the moment. So I got that and that was £6.99 for the sheet and two pillowcases. Um, and they also had white with black hearts but I got blue just because why not. And also in B&M I got two um, frames. I got these two. I've put them above where my TV is. So I got this heart shaped one and they had a like a big version of this as well which was uh, 9 99 This was 2 50 but it was on sale at 1 50 so I just snapped it up and um, in it I have just this pattern of skulls. Picture of my sister and me when we were little and then just this skull with like a rose um, around its mouth. A stag thing, some polka dots, um, a picture of my grandma from this Christmas. And then I have a picture of um, Claudio Sanchez from the gig that I went to um, in November. 
Then I have this frame, which I really like because it's very kind of French style, but it's so plasticky. Um, this was on sale for 150 as well, so um, I don't know why it was on sale. So in this one I have a picture of my sister and me when we went to a carnival. My sister was, I think, either a mermaid or a princess, I can't remember, and I was a pirate. I did have an eye patch, but I don't have it on there. And then I've got a Kath Kidson pattern here. Picture of my grandma, my mum and me um, when we went to Scotland, and we're all wearing blue, which wasn't planned, but uh, I really like this picture. Then I have a picture of me and Josh, obviously in the big photo, and then I just have another little um, paisley print here. And these aren't kind of like professional photos, I just printed them off the computer and put them in there because, um, yeah, so I really like these and they'll be going on my wall. You'll probably see them when I eventually do my room tour. Um, what else? Okay, last few things here. I got a box of Pop-Tarts because I've never had Pop-Tarts before. My friend Jack gave me um, like one of the packets like that when I was in year 10. And um, obviously I didn't have the box so I didn't know how long to put them in the toaster for. I completely like burnt them like and they were disgusting. And they were jam ones so the jam was extremely hot plus burnt so wasn't the best experience so when I saw these in B&M I picked up the apple ones because it said apple and cinnamon and that's like the best flavour right so I've got one two three four packets left in here which I've got two in each and I don't think I like them that much um I like the icing off the top but I'm not really a fan of pop tarts and once I finish this box I probably won't be buying anymore but these were 2 99 from B&M if you were looking for pop tarts in England and then I picked up this, which is all nicely wrapped. And it's this candle jar with like a handle. And it says, uh, live, laugh, love with a little heart there. And this is supposed to be for like a, you know, a big pillar candle. And um, I might use it for a candle, but I was thinking of using it as a vase in my room for like fresh flowers. I just think it would look really, really cute. And this was 2 99 and they had ones that said all sorts of things on like home sweet home and um, something else I can't remember but I picked up this one. It's kind of hard to see because of the light and stuff but I've got that. Last two things, this haul's extremely long considering I actually don't have that many things to show you. Um, I just got two hair products. I got a, another of the Salon Chic So Smooth straightening mist which basically I just use as a um what's it called heat defense spray before I blow dry my hair and I've used a couple of these so far this came with um the very first pair of straighteners that we ever bought and um I just love the smell of it so much that I keep repurchasing the same one because it smells like a bubble gum awesome and then I picked up the vo 5 high volume extra strong hold um, which smells like raspberries, which is strange. It smells really good for a hairspray. Um, just because since my hair is a little bit shorter, I've been trying to get more volume in the roots. Not today, today is just meh. Um, I keep doing that too much, that meh thing. Stop it, just stop, okay. Um, and that is everything I have to show you. Sorry this haul was probably just a little bit boring, but I really wanted to film today because I'm going to my dad's tonight for a few more days and I don't really like filming at my dad's because there's no setup and I don't have everything with me obviously because I just take a few things over there. So um, I thought I'd get a video filmed now because my last one was a while ago. Um, let me know what you would like to see video wise. Um, I have a DIY planned which I'm dead excited about. I have it planned in my head, I haven't bought the stuff for it yet so um, fingers crossed I buy that soon because I'm really excited about that one and I think you'll like it too. If you have any other DIY ideas, like if there's something that you would like me to show you how to make then comment below and I'll see what I can do because I really want to do more DIYs this year. Um, don't request makeup tutorials because you basically wasted your own time there um, because it will be crap. Um, what else? Mm -mm -mm. I think that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!
this is how I should wear these, like, totally just, just wrap them around and just like, create a new style and just be like, yeah, this is how I wear my Galaxy leggings. What are they? <laughs> Arr. I legit look awesome, right? Thumbnail! Okay, I'm done. I am done. 